You know this sign. It's the infamous yellow dollar sign of YouTube. The apocalypse basically leading to a ton of ads pulling out of YouTube and uh, effectively a ton of our videos constantly getting demonetized. That little yellow dollar sign, which makes it easier for YouTubers to see that that video has been demonetized. Now, just like when you get a copyright claim on your video, when a video is demonetized, they will now email you. And now in the edit video section, you can appeal right from there if you think your video does not break any guidelines. About YouTube demonetizing videos. That is determining some videos cannot be monetized so the creators don't get any AdSense revenue from that video. But if you think this is bad, you've not seen anything yet. As annoying as this sign is, this little fella at least allows you to see what particular video YouTube sees as problematic. Let's hear that one more time. So the creators don't get any AdSense revenue from that video. It allows the creator to see what video has the issue. And the creator can also appeal immediately if he thinks the penalty is a mistake. So it is bad, but it's not terrible. But what if YouTube, instead of showing you what particular video they think has an issue, penalize the whole channel, all your videos, because they think that some videos have infringed their norms. So instead of this, you got this, and this, and this, a whole yellow channel. The whole channel becomes demonetized, all videos, without exception, and then, Instead of YouTube pointing out where they think there is a problem, they just leave the creator with an ambiguous message that claims that somewhere in the channel there lurks the content of others that the creator is using without permission. In the hallowed words of YouTube, in most cases, you can't re-upload someone else's content unless you get permission first. Remember, it's not enough to credit the content owner or state that no copyright infringement is intended. Learn more about copyright and fair use. As you can see, YouTube thinks there is a problem in the channel somewhere, and it wants the creator to fix it without telling them where the supposed problem is. Imagine you win the presidency, and then they tell you, fix the economy. All right, what part of the economy should I look at first? The whole thing. Just fix it. Fix the whole thing. Which part of the economy are you talking about? The whole thing. Cars, taxes, imports, all the stuff. Just fix it all. And that's YouTube right there. The problem is somewhere. Now just fix it. Somehow. Is the problem on this video? Is it in this other one? Which one? And also, do you remember this particular part? Now in the edit video section, you can appeal right from there if you think your video does not break any guidelines. If the demonetization of a single video happens, the creator can appeal immediately on that video to have a human review it to see if a mistake was made. But immediately is obviously too fast. Why not make the creator wait one month in order to be able to appeal the penalty, the demonetization of your whole channel? In YouTube's words, you can reapply to join the YouTube Partner Program in 30 days on September the 19th, 2018. So the creator now has her whole channel demonetized for at least one month, and she has no idea where YouTube thinks the problem is. How is she going to fix it? Meet the yellow YouTube channel. It's a new epidemic that is running a very high fever in YouTube right now, and many channels are getting infected. Let's look at this channel. It's got the yellow disease. It is a music channel with more than 160,000 subscribers. None of their videos can run ads now. The same happened to its Spanish version with more than 730,000 subscribers. Are these channels re-uploading someone else's content without permission? No. All of the content on these channels is being used and monetized with current permissions. Some of the content used has a Creative Commons Attribution license. Some of the content is in the public domain. Some of the content has exclusive permission for its use and monetization given by the musician to this channel in order to promote their music. And some of the content is being used with a license purchased from a third party who owns the content. All of the content this channel has is being used with the proper permissions. They even record in a database all of the copyright disputes they have entered into and they have done more than 1,183 of them, and they always win those disputes. 
So why is YouTube claiming this channel is re-uploading someone else's content without permission? Our theory is that it is a mistake caused by the new feature YouTube has been implementing that helps creators identify who is duplicating their content. Our newest rights management tool. It automatically finds videos that are the same or very similar to your own on YouTube. YouTube has this new feature where you can see who is duplicating your content. It shows you videos of other users that match yours, like this one, for example. Below is the link to the original video, and above is the link to the duplication without authorization. In fact, the whole channel is made up of other creators' videos. It is completely okay for YouTube to penalize this type of behavior, but we believe the YouTube system is flagging other channels that are not infringing the norms by mistake. Look at this one, for example. This one is also gripped by Yellow Fever. It's dedicated to instrumental music and has more than 483,000 subscribers. It is so popular that if you Google best classical music, it's one of the first results. It's had almost 70 million views. The music used is listed here, and that channel has the right to use and monetize the music. But right now, they can't run ads in any video. The same happened to this other channel with more than 820,000 subscribers. Their channel also got hit with the duplication penalty. The same happened to this other channel with more than 245,000 subscribers. It consists of relaxing music, and they also have the right to use and monetize their content. There are many creators complaining about this, The same problem happened to these other channels. Well, this is a video I didn't want to have to make, but it seems as though YouTube has decided to pull monetization from our channel. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Hey, anybody, this is Scoots, Drew Scoots. But it is not only music channels that are being affected. These channels were also hit with the duplication penalty. Creator of Nick vs. Nusky. This is happening because those channels are using content which they don't own the rights to. OK, let's examine this case. Sherlock Holmes stories Magpie Audio. It was demonetized for a month. All the videos. I read works that are in the public domain. The Adventure of the Six Napoleons. They've all been published before 1923. They're in the public domain. Even the artwork. Hello, my name is Greg Wagland, and um, I have an announcement which is YouTube have decided to demonetize my channel. But YouTube never, never makes a mistake. Right. Do you know Salad Fingers? It's an animation series made by Hello. David Firth. I like rusty spoons. His whole channel was also recently hit by the duplication penalty. They complained to YouTube and the problem was fixed and YouTube recognized that they had made a mistake. So there's evidence that this is happening by mistake. Look, YouTube, we are not asking you to be perfect, but at least. Please show us where this duplication thing is happening in our channels. Show us where the problem is supposed to be and let us fix it immediately. Not after one month. It is true that some of the channels with the duplication penalty may deserve it. Some others don't. Like salad fingers. I like rusty spoons. You need a better system to solve this issue. Please help us fix this problem by tweeting the text in the description below. Using the hashtag, show me the duplication. YouTube. Show me the duplication. We're trying to make this message get to YouTube and to anyone who can help spread the message. This video can be uploaded and monetized by anyone. It has a Creative Commons attribution license, so reuse is allowed. Help us to make YouTube a better place. And remember to let them know. YouTube. Show me the duplication. <laughs>